you've tested your project and it checks out. It's almost ready to be shared with others. The last task remaining is to fill in some information. Actually, you don't have to wait until the end of your project to add information to the Info tab. You can click the Info tab during any phase of your project. The information you input on the screen will be displayed each time your puzzle is opened. So, before a puzzle is played, the player will see the details you enter. The puzzle name is required. All other details are optional. You can enter any name you'd like as long as you don't have another project with the same name. Click the red Record button to use iPad's microphone to record audio. Click the Stop button to end recording and play to hear what's been recorded. Alternatively, you can click the Add button to choose from the iPad's audio library. An audio description is great if you'd like players to hear directions or reminders before beginning your puzzle. You can share XPL recordings from the Explain Everything app to the Stick Around app. To add a shared Explain Everything recording, click the plus button next to the tutorial and select the one you'd like to display before players begin this puzzle. Click anywhere under a description to enter text. Like the other information you input on the screen, it will be displayed before a player begins playing the puzzle. This is a great place to type in directions and reminders. You can choose to make the answer regions visible while the puzzle is being played. Or, you can choose to show the centers of each answer key region with a question mark icon. You should only choose visible or icons if it is not obvious where stickers should be placed on your project's background. You should input your name as the author. You worked hard on your project. Take credit for it. Type or paste a URL that players can click to visit inside of StickAround's web browser before beginning a puzzle. This link can go to anything on the web. A web page, a PDF, an image, a video, pretty much anything with a URL. Click the plus button and select the best topic tag for your puzzle. You can choose multiple tags and add your own tags. Click the plus button and select your puzzle's learning standard. You can add multiple standards. Remember that inputting this information is optional. You can indicate grade levels for which this puzzle is appropriate. Drag the circles to indicate the range. The last option is measuring time. Do you want your puzzle to have a time limit? If so, click countdown and choose the minutes and seconds. Another option is Timer to display how long it took to solve the puzzle. Stick Around allows for much information to be presented to a player before he or she begins a puzzle. As the puzzle designer, you get to decide what and how many details to provide. Mm -hmm.